All right, guys, so the C10 is running all good. It's been a couple days running around, no problem, apart from no hooded, no grill, but it is what it is, so I can get that one from Taylor's. And today, we're working on Rafa's car finally. Right. What are we doing today? All right, well, today we're doing the rear brakes because I don't have tires for the fronts. Uh, we're gonna lift it up, twist it so that we're not on the slope, and then we're gonna start taking everything apart. Yeah, Hopefully, it only takes four hours. <laughs> I doubt it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off this process, I guess, after reading the instruction is the first thing you should do is take the rear diff cover off so that's what we're going to do hopefully this doesn't make a huge mess oh shit what happened? it went everywhere do you have, uh, do you have tissues? Yeah. Fuck, dude, that shit stinks. Waiting for the diff to uh, drain out, then we'll push the C-clips out, pull the axles out, and then start attaching all the brackets. You yeah. ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm, no. Very bitching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got dirt in my ear, man. It's fucked up. There you go. Alright, pull the pin out, Rob. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta remember how that goes. Right here, the, the, the whole side goes with the screw set. Okay, alright. Then rotate this down, the the, the pause, yeah. Here, we, we won't want to put this wrong. Uh, yeah, right there. Like that? How much yeah. more? Uh, until until that's fa the, the spider gears are facing forward. Alright. Alright, that's good right there. Okay. Oh, Alright, so now we gotta unbolt the, the brake stuff and then we'll push the axle in and the C-clip should come out. So we'll do the, this left side first. <sighs> nasty dirty ass hands on the tap right now. <laughs> Alright, we ran into one slight problem. Uh, neither of us have brake wrenches, so... Brake line wrenches, so we're gonna go cop those so we don't ruin the brake lines. It makes our life easier so we don't strip anything. And yeah, we basically have that played off. That's why we miss, we need the... Uh, we need the uh, the brake line wrenches because we can't get it off with the regular wrench. It just keeps slipping. So as soon as we can get that off, it's pretty much just putting the brackets on, throwing the axle back in, and putting the new brakes in. We're on. All right, all right. So we got the wrenches. Rough right now is loosening the brake lines from the distribution block, and then we should be able to take these. Uh... Okay. okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> and then we should be able to finally take these hubs off because they're they're really being held on by the brake lines. All right, guys. Well, this the off. Just took the e-brake clip off. Just pull it through this line now. All right, you need a screwdriver really to pull this out. But old shitty brakes off. Time to install super nice parts on this ugly ass axle. How you going, Rob? Got it. You got it. Yep. All right, give me that screwdriver real quick. Well, we kind of figured one side out. Um, that was really frustrating because the instructions suck. But we're actually going to show you how to do it better on this side. So, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so oh, okay. Rafa is tightening the uh, the bolts for the bracket. We think we have it spaced correctly. Uh, it should be the same as the other side, so we're just copying the other side. And then, and then we're going to slip in the axle, put the uh, C-clip back in, pull it out, button the diff back up, and then it should just be bolting on the, the new caliper. And we're done. Okay. All right, we just slid the axle in. Uh, we're putting the pin back in. Oh, she rocked. We have to fill the spider gears in. See, so let's pull it out. Fuck. Feel it? All right, oh, let's do this again. <laughs> Our spider gears fell out, so yeah, we just got to get them, them off of in. the jack. Yeah, I'm gonna run out. Alright guys, well, it's been a couple days. We kind of stopped recording because we had to like unbolt and rebolt the uh, caliper on like six, seven times. We? So, yeah, you. <laughs> to get the uh, bracket spacing right on the caliper. Okay, so basically you attach the bracket to the flange on the, the, the rear end. Uh, and then you just slap on the, uh, the caliper. It's pretty easy. But now we're going to do the e-brake to uh, finish the install out. And then we can pull the engine and transmission because it will have something to stop it. Rafa? I got it from... Like, what's the oh. name of the brand? I 
S3, nine, what, is it, what are they called? I don't know. Oh, you're talking about the website? Yeah, no, I'm talking about so. Oh, okay. Whatever uh, that brand right is. Right stuff detailing. We got their uh, e-brake kit. So we're going to use the CPP ones that go to the caliper. And then, yeah, it should be pretty easy. Just taking those to the caliper, that to the actual e-brake pedal with the, uh, the adapter plate thing, I guess. And yeah, should be pretty easy. But we've been saying that for how many times? We spent like three or four days on this. <laughs> yeah, it always takes us at least four hours. <laughs> Okay, so first thing we're doing is we're throwing the line on. Uh, Rafa's taking the uh, run out of the bracket real quick so we can slip this line in. And then hook the hook that goes to the frame over here. And then basically all we do is hook these lines up. We're still trying to figure out which ones goes to which because one's longer than the other. Doesn't really make any sense, but we'll come back to you with what we, we find out. I guess CPP can't even get their own stuff to fit, so... What's happening is this is the e-brake line it goes through and you're supposed to be able to put a c-clip on it but you obviously can't get a c-clip on it so we're gonna have to grind it off and then just spray with some paint so it doesn't rust just, we're just painting where we grind it so it doesn't rust and then it should just literally be connecting the lines we have everything already laid out and ready to go you ready to have an e-brake rough ready to try and then what it's engine pulling time and it's engine pulling time Okay, let's go uh, hook the cable up. So, we have this clip on the way it's supposed to be with the C-clip, and we also have this on now that we, uh, let's see, where is it? We modified it so you could actually get the C-clip over it, and then we have the line on. So, just gotta do the same thing to the other side really quick, and then it's just hooking those two clips, hooking it to the, uh, to the mechanism over there that's fallen down, and then another hook that hooks to the frame. And we should have e-brakes, Roth. We got the lines all set up, we got the hook. We don't have the hook in the right spot. We're just gonna use this for right now because they used the hole for the transmission. I remember, and they did it completely wrong. So this is just temporary until we pull the transmission out. Uh, right now, Rafa's getting ready to put the bracket on. And it'll be the moment of truth whether we have an e-brake or not. Pulled it and fail because it's like just barely not enough. So I think we're gonna try to tighten it a little bit more. And if not, I don't know. I don't know if we have to adjust the brake or maybe that that uh, old e-brake one that we have connected to the e-brake is actually like stretched out and old. We ended up uh, installing the new cable, the new like cable to the e-brake. Right now we're tightening it. There's a lot less slack. So, all right, Rafa, I think that should be it, dude. Sure. Yeah. Try to tighten it more. You want me to tighten more? Nah, I think that should be good. It's got to have a little, still a little bit of slack. So now. If we hit the e-brake, the wrist spins. Did you pull it right now? All the way? All the way. Oh shit, yeah. I think we need just like a little bit more, dude. Or is it, are you sure? Yeah, because try to spin your side. Does your side spin? Mine's not connected, is it? Oh shit, yeah, you're right, huh? Okay, well mine's still spinning a little bit, so it still needs a little bit more. It, I need to not Wait, be able to spin it with my hand. It? What's up? I didn't connect it, the C clip's still there. So, uh, I'll connect it. The C clip's on the floor right there, dude. I'll right. connect it, and then you keep tightening a little bit more, and I think that's it. I think we're done. Alright. Are you ready for this to not work again? <laughs> Don't say that. Dude, if this doesn't work, I'm going home. You can clean up by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> keep the jack. I don't give a shit at this point. I just want to go. This fucking thing. Why Ooh, do that's we, a good sign right why, there. What? It's already getting tight. So, Alright, so yesterday we actually got the thing adjusted right, but we ran out of daylight, so the footage was really bad. But we, the e brakes all working here. Put the pressure off. We'll push it real quick. Well, I pop out the e no, 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 just put it into neutral. Okay, so that's in neutral, and I'll try to push it off. So. It's not going anywhere. Oh. All right, so that's the end of the video. We're pretty stoked we got the e-brake working. So that means right now we're gonna go pick the crane up from our buddy at All For Speed. Uh, and we'll be taking the motor out of this thing either in the next day or two. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh -huh.